Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nuxt full stack framework development series. And in last episode, we installed Nuxt.js. It was super quick, super simple, and very easy, but we don't actually have anything displaying on our site. As you can see, we just have our kind of blank page after we've removed the Nuxt welcome component. So what if we actually want to get something displaying on our site? Well, uh, we can simply add it to our app.view, which is inside of our app folder. So let's just add Add something very simple like hello world and now when we view our website we'll see that it just says hello world very simple we can put HTML inside of our template tag here um, for those who aren't aware of the view ecosystem essentially a view file which is what this is will have a template and it can also have a script tag with a language specified in our case it's gonna be TypeScript if you would like to use JS you can do JS and then we always put setup here in view. Now, inside of here, we can do whatever kind of JavaScript we want, including using views abstraction layers for reactivity and a bunch of other good stuff. As well as this, we can also use the style tag. And if we add scoped, this will allow us to do styles that are scoped to this component only, in which case this would be app.view. So it would actually be global, but if we had another component, we could put our styles in here and it would only work for that single component. Now, our site does not look very good at the moment and that's okay because we're just getting the basics of Nuxt. So let's say we want to make a new page. Let's say it be an about page. We want to use something called page routing and in Nuxt.js, it's very, very simple to set up. You don't need to install anything. You just create a new folder inside of the app folder and call it pages. And now within this folder, we can create an about.view and we're just gonna give it a simple template tag because every component in Nuxt.js needs a template. We're also going to create an index.view. The index is gonna be our base page. So where you get directed when you first visit the site at the root URL, we're just going to copy over our hello world from our app.view and put it inside of here, just like so back to our app.view. All we need to do to get page routing is add a Nuxt page tag like so. And let's also get rid of these other tags. So we have a clean app.view. So yeah, we have our Nuxt route announcer, which is mostly intended for accessibility. As far as I understand, you can get rid of this if you want. I believe it will just alert people who are using screen readers and whatnot that the route is changing. Anyway, now that we have our Nuxt page, we technically have two new pages. So as you can see, our index remains the same it still says our hello world because our root URL will go to index.view. If we do slash about, you'll notice that we just get a blank page which matches up with what we have here. And to show you that I'm not just bullshitting you, if we type something in random, we'll get a 404 like so. Let's add a heading and let's just say about. And now when we go here, we should, if we redirect to slash about, see about. Now, what if we want to actually be able to redirect there? Well, you might, if you understand HTML and have used it in the past, be tempted to use an anchor tag or an A tag. And you might do something like this and you might do something like this. So a href about, and we're going to give it a name as well. Just say about. So now when we go to our site, we can just click this link and it will redirect us to slash about. However, Nuxt.js actually provides us with a nice abstraction and it's actually a drop in replacement for the underlying view router component along with the anchor tag. And it this does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You can do things like prefetching and a lot of different optimizations while also complying to the view router. And the anchor tag does not do that by default as this is just a regular browser element. So we can just rename this to Nuxt link. And instead of using href, we're gonna do two. So this is telling the router to redirect us to slash about. So let's go to our site now and let's click this. And as you can see, we no longer get that little redirect here. It's not loading because this is actually just switching the view of the router. All right, so now we have multiple pages and we know how to link to other pages. So that's all for today's video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.